Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast. Bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Well, you're in for a treat tonight. Because tonight's story is part 25 of The Twits by Roald Dahl. And tonight's story is called The Furniture Goes Up. It follows the carpet from yesterday. Now, the table, the big table, shouted Mugglewump. Turn the table upside down and put a dollop of sticky glue on to the bottom of each leg. Then we shall stick that on to the ceiling as well. Hoisting the huge table upside down and on to the ceiling was not an easy job, but they managed it in the end. Will you stay there? they cried. Is the glue strong enough to hold it up? It's the strongest glue in the world, Mugglewump replied. It's the special bird-catching, bird-killing glue for smearing on trees. Please, said the roly-poly bird. I've asked you before not to mention that subject. How would you like it if it was monkey pie they made every Wednesday and all of your friends had been boiled up and I went on talking about it? I do beg your pardon, said Mugglewump. I'm so excited, I hardly know what I'm saying. Now the chairs. Do the same with the chairs. All the chairs must be stuck upside down onto the ceiling. And in the right places. Oh, do hurry up, everybody. Any moment now, those two filthy freaks are going to come rushing in with their guns. The monkeys, with the birds helping them, put glue onto the bottom of each chair leg and hoisted them up to the ceiling. Now, the smaller tables, shouted Mugglewump, and the big sofa, and the sideboard, and the lamps, and all the tiny little things, the ashtrays, the ornaments, and that beastly plastic gnome on the sideboard. Everything, absolutely everything, must be stuck onto the ceiling. It was terribly hard work. It was especially difficult to stick everything onto the ceiling in exactly the right place. But they got it done in the end. What now? asked the roly-poly bird. He was out of breath and so tired he could hardly flap his wings. Now, the pictures, cried Mugglewump. Turn all those pictures upside down. And will one of you birds please fly out onto the road and watch to see if those frumptious freaks are coming back? I'll go, said the roly-poly bird. I'll sit on the telephone wires and keep guard. It'll give me a rest. And that was part 25 of the tweets called The Furniture Goes Up. Here on the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good night.